people lined up outside the Baltimore City Convention Center to get tested for the coronavirus as Maryland recorded yet another day with more than 700 new cases with double digit percentage increases across the region over the past 30 days. We know how to slow this down. We can start rolling back some of the openings. We can start enforcing mask use. Dr. Melissa Marks is leading Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health's support of Baltimore City's response. She spoke about the surging numbers in Southeast Baltimore zip code 21224, which includes Canton. That zip code includes a lot of people that are essential workers, um, a lot of people that live in more crowded uh, environments, and a lot of people that may have more limited access to health care. Mark says it may be time to roll back some of the bar and restaurant reopenings. We do think it's the bars, it's the restaurants, and it's the places where especially young people congregate. Um, that are sort of leading to some of these increases. Among the newly reported cases in our area, an employee at the Compass Point Golf Course in Anne Arundel County, which remains open, and an employee at the city's Quarantine Road Landfill, which is closed through Saturday. If everyone were wearing masks when they're in public or in contact, the virus cannot spread. In a new interview on GMA, Governor Hogan again lashed out at the Trump administration's response. Uh, he's his own worst enemy by coming out and just tweeting something that makes no sense and goes against what everyone else in the administration is saying. This week, the Trump administration bypassed the CDC when it comes to hospitals reporting coronavirus case numbers. Governor Hogan has asked for a delay in that policy. Reporting from City Hall, Mike Halgren, WJZ.